In this week's video, I'm going to cover an EGR valve position sensor signal that is fixed at zero volts. Because this is an older car and I do not have bi-directional controls to force the EGR valve to open, I need to manually energize this EGR valve solenoid. To do that, step one needs to be circuit identification. If the control wire that I am connected to reads 12 volts with the solenoid plugged in and zero volts, unplugged can you tell me what type of circuit this is did you know that you can use your ammeter as a jumper wire that's on and off the solenoid is now energized but the EVP signal voltage still remains at zero. So further testing of the EVP circuit is needed and what we find is a missing five volt reference to the sensor. However, the TPS has a good five volt reference. On this model year car, there is only one five volt regulator. So the question is, is there an open or a short to ground in the five volt reference wire going to the EVP sensor? Knowing our fundamentals tells us this cannot be a short to ground. Now on today's cars that can have four different five volt regulators, we cannot make that claim. But with a single regulator, we can. This is not a short to ground. It can only be an open or a faulty regulator circuit inside of the module. A measurement of the five volt reference wire at the ECM that feeds the EVP circuit tells us everything we need to know. The wiring is fine and there is an ECM board issue. A final pin drag test is performed to make sure we don't have a spread apart terminal before making the final call. Yes, this is an old school ECM that in its day was very cheap to replace, but with today's modules running in the thousands of dollars, the key is, are you thousands of dollars confident in your call of a bad module? Which by the way, is one of the most difficult calls to make. Some final tests to show a working EVP sensor I am jumping the TPS 5 volt reference circuit to the EVP 5 volt reference circuit and then redoing the EVP tests. These are shared internally to the board, but there's an open in the board. So by me jumping them together externally, I'm just restoring that contact. Notice the signal voltage is now at 0.8 on both the scan tool and the voltmeter and jumps up over four volts with the EGR valve solenoid energized. So head over to my YouTube channel to watch this case study in its entirety, and don't let the age of the car make you think the procedures shown are no longer relevant. Every single step in this video still applies to today's 2024 model year cars.